Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick, aka Nicky Drum Skills from TV Nimi Gaming and uh, Defocus Productions. And today I'm bringing you a uh, another Sony Vegas 9 uh, tutorial, um, mainly de dealing with well, what I consider montage effects, but I mean they can use, be used in any type of video. And um, today I'm going over the sort of Sony Vegas recreation of Twitch, I would call it. Um, so that's what we are going to be doing today, uh, learning how to do Twitch and also some kind of a glitchy sort of effect that uh, I think Joe Hansen's probably used or something. Uh, just a lot of editor people use it. Uh, this is sort of my recreation of it. Um, so let's just jump into it. First of all, uh, as you can see up here, I'm running. Um, I got, uh, this is for the RGB split, because it's like an RGB split sort of Twitch effect. So this is the uh, gradient, color gradient I'm using for this. Or you can use this option as well. It's sort of a more blended version, but you know, either one works. Uh, this white color is just going to be for background for my text over here, because you're going to need a text object. And uh, this is the test pattern that's going to be used for the uh, sort of glitchy part in the beginning. Because it's kind of, it can be kind of used in the intro. I've used this before, but I mean, I figured, you know, whatever. Oh, I'll show you guys how to do it. And then this is a, uh, a video clip from uh, Video Copilot, the, the Twitch promo. And I'm using that basically for my sound effects. So you're also going to learn how to basically split a track and get audio from a video, which is, you know, pretty cool. It's a useful tip. You might as well learn uh, along the way if you're uh, into making videos and stuff. So anyways, um... Let's get into it. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, lay up three tracks. Um, you really don't need a third track if you don't want this white background, but I'm just using that, so you can do whatever. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to drop a... Well, first I'm going to do sort of the glitch effect. Uh, basically, what you want to do is... You can grab your uh, test pattern. Um, as you can see right here, I got an overlay compositing mode. You're going to need that in a second. Um, but first, I'm going to open a new track, because I don't want this um, being overlaid on anything. So. Everything that's overlaid is affecting everything that's under it. So you don't really, um, if you're working with something, because I, I got that question asked today, if you, if you don't want uh, your clips to be dark in the overlay track, um, don't let them be an overlay or under the overlay. So, um, okay, so we got our uh, NTSC uh, test pattern. Um, <clears throat> uh, what's this? Uh, like gradient. Um, just, just, just Sony test pattern. So I'm going to drag it to uh, just make it like a... Um, Basically, really, just give me a really quick uh, glitch. So, I'll make it. Uh, what is this? 35 frames in. Let's drop it to. Uh, let's drop it like one second. So let's scroll back a little bit. Um, and um, that that might uh, even be too long. So we'll see. Um, all you want to do with this is sort of uh, bring in a. Um, is it? I think it's a. I think it's a video effect. Oh, where is it? TV simulator. Yes. So basically, just go and bring bring your bad sync in here. And you see it gets all glitchy like that. Um, generally, I like to take down the aperture grill and the, uh, the de detail zoom. I like to leave that down. Interlacing, uh, I kind of like to turn that down just because it, I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, and fo uh, what's this, uh, phosphorence, um, turn that down. I mean, you can leave them up to the basically standard. I mean, that's the way it would really look. But I mean, I just kind of like to make it look like a, a simple sort of wave glitch and not like, you know, like it's a basically a TV thing. So, and then you can turn static up if you want. I don't really want static. So. Mine's pretty much just basic because I like to look clean and scan phasing is sort of this white uh, highlight glowing bar that goes up and down. I don't want that, so turn that off uh, by dragging it to zero. So these are at zero because I don't like using these. And then uh, this controls your line sync, how synced all the lines are. And this controls your, uh, your vertical sync, which is how much it basically moves up and down, I believe. So if you sort of scroll through, you can see how it glitches like that. Um, and if you turn the vertical sync down, it will basically just sort of go faster and whatnot. So turn that off and uh, take that keyframe out, and then just leave it like this. Um, and I want the, the lines to be pretty wavy, so I'm just gonna pretty much drag it all the way down, which basically desyncs it. So it should be pretty wavy at this point. Um, might be a little more up, maybe what's this uh, like, like a, what's that, 3,000 point 3,000? And I want this to replace this keyframe, so I'll just delete the old keyframe and drag this to the front so it's always like this. And then you got that, so uh, let's just go back and play it really quick. Yep, basically that's what it looks like. And I might even drag it down to about 30 frames, which is basically half a second, so uh, let's see how fast that is. Yeah, it's really fast. Okay, so uh, next thing I usually like to do on a, a, an effect like this is bring in the sound effects. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a sound effect really quick. Uh, really quick. And um, so basically, here's the video. Um, this is what this. That's my overlay. So um, I'm just gonna set this back to source alpha, so I can actually see the video and see where I am. 
Um, this is the sound effect I want. And you'll probably be able to hear that in the final product, but I mean, I don't think you can hear it right now. But anyways, um, I'm just going to drag this down, and I'm basically just going to cut out the part I do want. About there, delete the rest of that. And basically click on this part of the video, and then right click, um, group, clear. Oops, did it wrong. Uh, okay, here we go. Right click, group, clear, and then I can just click delete when it's just highlighted. And now it's broken apart. So this is my audio track, and um, basically this is where the glitch comes in. Just like just a little glitch sound. Um, and I think I just want this part here, where it's just like it just trips out. I mean, I don't know, I'm gonna leave like this. I'm just gonna place it out the whole video. I think, so. I think I'm actually going to drag this glitching this down to here so it's right, sort of like I would have the video text come in like I usually do have, so. Yep. So, that is basically sort of the sort of distorted effect at the beginning that I want. And then, for the actual sort of RGB split twitch effect that I'm going to be using on a text clip, um, I'm going to drag in this text, um, and I'm going to drag it to the second layer because it's going to be overlaid, um, like that. And then I'm going to drag the... Oh, where is it? Um, oh, my, my solid white. I'm going to drag it under the clip so I can see the text. And then just drag this on down. And then I'm going to have the... What is it? The uh, I'm going to use this uh, this color gradient. You can use this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. They're both sort of the same effect. But I'm just going to use this one because it's got more red and blue and green in it. So I'll just drag this over. And it looks the off center, so I'm gonna center that up for a second. Uh, maybe about there. That's about centered. Yep. Maybe a little crooked, I don't know. Whatever, you know, it's just a quick effect. So, what you wanna do from here is make sure that you got this covering your uh, text, and then click this button, and then uh, your pausing mode, you click overlay. So it switches it, and you can see just kind of a little tiny outline around it. Um, that's really not noticeable if people are watching the video. It looks kind of cool, anyways. So to get your sort of glitch effect that you want to do is basically you want to go to a certain like maybe just a couple, just literally a couple frames, maybe about uh, like five or so, and then I want to um, cut the video clip right there. And what I want to do is go to my video effects and then drag it down to a what is this a uh, linear blur. That's what I want. So go to L linear blur. And then you can do a vertical or horizontal, I think, I don't know, I think vertical is morally used, but it really doesn't matter because the Twitch effect, you can choose whatever you want, so I'm just going to drag in a vertical light, and I'm going to set it down to zero at first, and then basically just drag it back to, I think it was a .05, so I'll drag it for that. Uh, add the keyframe, and then go back down to the end, and then draw it back to zero, so basically just sort of glitches up, it glitches up, and then out. So let's, uh, I'm going to pre-render this really quick and just take a quick look at this. So just to pre-render, just, you know, take this top, uh, this top two yellow bars, drag it over your highlighted area, and then click Control, or no, Shift and B. And that does a quick pre-render. So you can see right here especially, it sort of just drops in this, basically just sort of this colored glitch. And then you can, you can, you can add, like, Tons of them. Like you can, uh, you can make them longer or slower. But I mean, more of the twitch effect is usually based on a slower effect. So I'm gonna make this one kind of longer, just so you can see it better. Um, I'm gonna drag in the. Uh, I'm gonna do a vertical extreme this time, so it really pops out. Um, so I'm gonna set this keyframe back to. I'm just gonna drag this keyframe that already has the amount to about the middle. And then since I'm already clicked up here on this side, I'm gonna drag it down to zero. And then go to the end and drag it down to zero. So here we go. Um, so shift B this, and then watch. It. There you go. That's a, that's a really quick effect. As you can see, but it, it's just—it looks really good. I mean, it looks cool, looks clean, and you know, it's whatever. So um, I just have a couple of glitches there. I mean, it's not really synced to music. I'm just showing you it, but you know, you can do whatever. So right here, when it sort of like goes. And it, it glitches out. You'll, you'll be able to hear it in the final product. But um, 
what I'm gonna do is uh, do the same bad sync effect that we used earlier and just drop it on here so I'm just gonna cut this and since for the, the whole duration of this I'm gonna go into uh, back to video effects uh, TV simulator bad sync and then we got a bad sync looking effect I'm gonna drag interlacing down because I don't like that stuff but you can do whatever you want uh, drag static and all that photophos phosphorence down and then scan phasing down and you basically just have the uh, vertical sync at back at the sync at 3000 and I want this sync to be like just really getting jammed up so I'll leave it about there and should be able to very much just trip out it looks pretty sick so hold I think if I drag this up it goes faster if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken um, let's drag this back down or no Dragging this lower makes it faster, I believe. Yeah, it makes it glitch out faster. So, Shift B, and we'll take a look. And yeah, pretty much it glitches out. And then, uh, I mean, if I want, I can really, I could just make this uh, sink higher and make it, you know, just render this part really quick. Yeah, I'm just make it sort of glitch out. And you know, you can do whatever you want, you know, make it look cool, you know, just add your own sort of original flair to it. So, that's basically right there, basically three tutorials. You get sort of the bad sync um, uh, test pattern, you got the uh, sort of a twitch effect on a, a text object, and I th you can use this on like video too. I just decided to use a text object because that's what I usually use it for intros and stuff. And then you also basically learn how to uh, rip audio from a video. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I got a couple more tutorials coming up soon, and um, yeah, I thought this one was pretty uh, mandatory, and everyone should pretty much check this one out, so if you like the tutorial, uh, subscribe to my channel, my other editing channel, Deep Focus Productions, where I have some special exclusive videos there, as well as uh, TV Nimi Gaming, so you can get more tutorials, and more gameplay, and just more awesome stuff, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, check you guys later, alright, bye.